my students now today our lesson is links and frames in html okay so before going into the lesson at first we have to know website and iber link okay so what is a website actually a website consists of many web pages okay so all the web pages are linked with the help of hyperlinks here so you can see that here is cbsc point okay so it is the website of cbsc point okay so here you can see that all the pages are there latest update syllabus ncrt book okay so all these are the different web pages and in total of all these web pages the website name is cbsc point okay got it so here all the web pages are interconnected by the hyperlink okay got it now next question is what is hyperlink actually a hyperlink is a link between two location or two document okay so a hyperlink is an underlined text or image which when clicked leads to another location okay the other location can be on the same web page or a different web page okay so here if you see that here is the recent post here it is cbsc grading system class 10 if you click on this then redirects us to an another page okay here it is the page got it so if you click on this hyperlink then it will go for another page here it is cbsc grading system class 10 okay so in this chapter we will learn about the anchor tag which is used to create hyperlinks okay and also we will be learning about frame tag which divides a page into rectangular areas okay now at first creating links now already we have learned that hyperlink is used to link various web pages of a website so we can use them to navigate from one web page to another web page okay so hyperlinks are generally blue in color okay blue in color we will have three types of links available on a web page okay one is internal link then local then global internal links means the links between the same page okay local means links to another page within the same website and global means it is a link to pages on different websites okay so you have to learn it very carefully got it so here in cbsc point we have clicked this link and we are going to another page okay this is not on the same page so it is the local linking okay when the linking is on the same page then it is known as the internal okay and suppose we are clicking on this hyperlink and we are going to another website okay? then it is known as the global linking okay next is the anchor tag which is used to create this type of links it is denoted by this okay so it is named as the opening tag and it is named as the closing tag already we have learned about it okay it is closing tag because here one slash is in front the tag okay so as it has both opening tag and closing tag that is container tag so anchor tag is a container tag okay now if we want to link external web pages then we have to use hyperlink reference okay h r e f hyperlink reference okay so here look at the example we have used hyperlink reference href in the 
opening tag okay so hyperlink reference attribute is used with the anchor tag okay this attribute takes the url of the link page enclosed in double quotes okay here it is the attribute takes the url of the link page here is the linked page enclosed in the double quotes okay so it is the example if we want to add words contact us as hypertext to an html file then we have to write the code like that way okay so at first we have to mention a h r e f anchor tag with attribute hyperlink reference then in the double quote we have to put the url of the linked page okay and then we have to mention the name here and it is contact as then we have to end the tag here okay so in this example contact us will appear as a hyperlink okay so if you click on this it will redirect the user to the details.html page okay got it if you want to create this web page we have to write the html code for that so let's look at the html code here now look at here is the html at first we have to mention html as we know then in the head, head under the title we are writing career options here are the career options okay already we have known that so the title is career option so that means we have to write career options in between title tag okay so here it is the career option in the title now the body color is here the hexadecimal code you can write hexadecimal code or you can write the name of the color directly and the text is red here okay so that in the previous page all the text are in red and background is another type of code now get carefully has the list of careers for graduates under age one tag okay got it and then break statement so look at here is the heading that is list of careers for graduates age one so that the text is little bit larger in size now all the options available here we are using break because we want to write it on the new line so all the degrees are here on the new line so that we are using br to break the line here because we want all the degrees on the next line okay so here we are getting all the degrees on the separate line or the next line okay next is the more information line here already we have learned that if you want to redirect user to another web page or another location then we have to write address in the double quote and then you have to write the text okay and everything we have to write inside the anchor tag using the href hyperlink reference okay so that we are mentioning here a hr ef okay a is the anchor tag and hr ef is the attribute and then in the double quote the address of the link and then we have to mention the text okay then we have to close the comment so here look at the in, look at the web page so here look at the web page here is the more information underlined in blue co blue color so if you click click on the more information so it will redirect us to this website jagaron josh because we have mentioned the jagaron josh website inside the href 
ओके नेक्स्ट इज द स्पेसिफाइंग कलर फॉर लिंक उइ नो दैट द डिफल्ट कलर अफ ए लिंक इज ब्लू सो उइ कैन चेन्ज दिस कलर टू डिस्टिंग उज भेरियस लिंक्स ऑन ए वेब पेज ओके सो उइ कैन डू दिस बै यूजिंग द लिंक ए लिंक एंड भी लिंक एट्रीब्यूट उइथ द बडी टैग ओके रिमेम्बर दैट अल दिस टैग्स आर यूज उइथ द बडी टैग सो एट फार्स इट इज लिंक लिंक एट्रीब्यूट इज यूज टू सेट द कलर अफ ए लिंक दैट इज येट टू बी भिजिटेड ओके इट्स डिफल्ट कलर इज ब्लू नेक्स्ट वन इज ए लिंक दिस एट्रीब्यूट इज यूज टू सेट द कलर of the link when the mouse pointer is on it its default color is red okay and last one is bhi link this attribute is used to set the color of the visited links in a web page its default color is purple okay so we can use the example here here in this example inside the body tag we have used link a link and bhi link so here body then link equal to red then a link equal to yellow and then v link equal to green so we have mentioned all the colors here in the body tag okay like that way okay so here is the example so here is the example okay so it is the link here okay the link was in blue then when the mouse pointer is on it it is in red color now and when we have visited this then it will be in purple color here okay got it next one is using an image as a hyperlink sometimes we would want to use an image as a hyperlink in an html document okay so in this case we need to use img tag within the anchor tag okay so here is the example we know we have to use this using the anchor tag with the attribute href so we have mentioned that a href and then the address of the link or the url and then as we are using here the image as the source so we are we are mentioning here img src image source and then the image name okay then close the tag so here if we click on this image the rules then it shows this web page okay so here this picture acts as a hyperlink okay so in this code the part href look at very carefully in this case the part href contains the location of the file to which the user is directed after clicking on the image okay here it is the okay and the image source part contains the location of the image file that is used as the hyperlink so we have to keep in mind both one is href part here it is href part using with the anchor tag it contains the location of the file to which the user is directed after clicking on the image and here it is the part of img source image source part that contains the address of the image okay or the location of the image file that is used as a hyperlink here okay got it okay now we learn about the frames actually frames are used to display more than one page on a single screen it divides a browser window into different sections okay and each section contains a different html web page many frames on the a web page constitute a frame set okay now the attributes are c o l s r o w s borders 
border color okay so frames are defined using the frame set tag okay the attributes of this tag are as follows so cols attribute specifies the number of columns in the frame set we can also specify its size and width of the columns okay next one is rows so this attribute specifies the number of rows in the frame set we can also specify their size or height next one is border this attribute is used to specify the thickness of the border for each frame okay so when the value assigned to this attribute is zero no border is visible the value is specified as a number last one is border color this attribute sets the color of the border of a frame the value can be a permitted color name or its rgb value okay so here is the example we have used columns row border and border color use with the frame set tag okay so in this tag it specifies that the web browser window should be divided into two columns okay with the first frame occupying 30 percent of the window size and the remaining to be occupied by the second column okay note that here we have mentioned a star it indicates the remaining space okay now here the row attribute defines three rows look at at the first row occupying 80 percent of the total space of the browser window remaining two rows occupy 10 percent each okay next is the border attribute it defines the border of the thickness 6 and here the border color green so border color attribute defines the border color of the frame as green here okay got it now attribute of frame tag so sorry, there are two attributes one is src another one is frame border src attribute specifies the path of the file to be displayed in the frames and frame border attribute takes the value of 0 or 1 a value of 0 implies that no border is to be shown and a value of 1 means to show the borders okay you have to remember this point this attribute can also be used with the frame set tag okay so in this code the frame set tag defines how to divide a window into frames okay got it so here the frame set tag dividing the window into two vertical frames using the c a c o l s column here is the c o l s that means the first frame is 35 percent of width and next one is 65 percent of width here it is 35 percent and here it is 65 percent okay so when the window is to be divided horizontally then we have to use rows attribute so in the next it is we have used rows attribute so rows attribute is used with the frame set here okay it is used to divide the window horizontally divided into three parts first one of with 13 percent next one is 60 percent and third one is of 27 percent of total space okay okay so we have created a here horizontal frames using row attributes so here is the row attribute and here are the frames three frames here so in each of the frame we have used in different source first one is top dot html then activity html and then it is bottom dot html okay got it 
ओके